Hello everyone and welcome to game 4 in what has been a very good clan war so far. We have a new, or sorry, the same blue Protoss player, or I believe the Protoss player that was in the last matchup, playing up against Phoenix. Phoenix has spawned over here as the red Terran player at what I will call the 4 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have the blue Protoss player spawning here at the 10 o'clock position. So this is going to be... Terran versus Protoss on Belshir Beach, the winter edition apparently, as the lakes and everything have completely frozen over. There are two Zelnaga Towers, a giant chasm where a high ground used to be. Not quite sure how that all works out, but you know what? I'm not going to look too much into it. A front door supply depot now being placed down by Phoenix. Um, a pretty standard positioning, pretty standard build here. You do have your expansion that goes into a natural expansion. Or sorry, your starting location that goes into a natural expansion. There are two ways to get into it. A ramp here, and then also... Oh, they they got rid of that ramp there. Or is that, the, or is that a different version? All right, not going to look too much. In it. Just a rather large ramp at the natural. But I'm sure both of these players are very, very well accustomed to that particular um, ramp style as it is similar to Tall Dream Altar in that aspect. Your third base, you have a close third base that is down over here that is also very, very much widely exposed. Or you can take an even more widely exposed base over here. But then tanks and cover fire generally work out well for this particular map. Now, as the gateway is warping in, we see a, a pretty standard build coming in from the blue Protoss player. Most likely a Cyber Next Core will be following up in just a moment. Phoenix opting to go for a complete wall off here. And based upon the timing of this one particular supply depot, he knows that there is no gas from his opponent. So without gas, he knows that most likely the only thing that is really possible will be an expansion as a marine is now going to be trained. The probe has no idea what's going on inside here, but we are now seeing a quick gas after this front door. So this is a rather strange, strange build there, or strange, unique build there, as I believe his opponent is going to be expecting an expansion. And then if he's not careful, he's going to be going for an expansion of his own. The SCV has come in. He will be slipping away with a couple few, uh, with a few okay. minerals Complete. and now make his way out. No zealot has been trained. As we now see an SCV hanging around down over here, the probe um, still coming in position. It looks as though Phoenix really wants to set up an expansion here. But with that double gas being placed down, I think this is all just some mind game. So Phoenix now going to slip back. Gas is being harvested. We should be going into a factory in just a moment, needing a, a little bit more gas now. As we now see this SCV still wandering around on the inside. Now we are double harvesting gas from the Protoss player. We can see Stalkers are being trained, Warp Gate being added as well. And we'll see if we are gonna be going into a Stargate or what the particular strategy will be. It looks like a Sentry is gonna be added. So it's gonna be a lot of tier one units so far as this Stalker looks for perhaps an SCV and the SCV is gonna be able to slip by once more. Now you can also see the blue Protoss player perhaps just setting up a Nexus here at the five minute mark as the SCV does get taken down. Yes, by I believe a couple of or that one stalker there and didn't see this Nexus warping in. Now the bunker is being established here. So everything still looks like Phoenix has established an expansion. There is no expansion here. Instead, he it looks like he's going to be going into Banshee play and because of this particular build order, because he went for this fast supply depot down here, it looked as looked as though he wasn't going for any gas whatsoever, instead trying to go for a macro game. And this is the reason why this Banshee harassment way may work out a little bit better than say um, in any other in than in, in than in other matches, as he's not gonna have a robotics facility because it wasn't really scouted out scouting scouting one of the most important important things to do in starcraft 2 you want to be able to know what your opponent is doing to not get completely blindsided as the marines are now still pushing back on the stalker the stalker still believes that there is a command center here currently mining away that's the reason why he has this nexus and now going for double assimilators as well Sentries are now making their way out and the sentries are a natural counter to what he expects to be a massive bio army if it wants to apply any pressure but unbeknownst to him a banshee is already being trained and cloaking research has already begun. 
command center has still yet to be built down over here and this is really going to um, put all of phoenix's eggs in one basket if he does get a lot of damage dealt with these banshees then he should be able to come out ahead in the middle portion of this game but if he doesn't get a lot of damage with these banshees he's going to be very very far behind as he's not going to have all he's not going to have that much he's not going to have a strong economy he is lucking out though being able to fly completely circumnavigating around all of these and Zelnaga Towers here and here and he should be able to get perhaps five to seven probe kills if lucky but he is now also going into a second starport so Phoenix really going heavy on the starports perhaps going a two one base double Banshee a strategy that it has not become common in quite some time as the Banshee is now going to fly in here and get some probe kills there's one shot and has it gotten any kills yet there is one kill there's a second kill now. A third kill should be coming in, but the sentries do spot this Banshee. The Banshee now attempting to fly away and now still trying to maximize their damage still as that Banshee finally slips back. A new Banshee. The Banshee has already come in and now the Banshee is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Stalker. That Stalker deciding to run all the way back home. The Stalker does move slightly faster and that Stalker will be able to retreat all the way back. Now, a Raven is being added, and now down over here at this starport, a Banshee is still being trained. This is still a rather unique build that I haven't seen Phoenix do ever. This Banshee over here now looking to get some damage on the probes over here at the starting location. There is one Observer, though. So the Observer should be able or will be able to reveal this Banshee. And as soon as this Banshee is revealed, its days are pretty much going to be numbered based upon the number of Stalkers and Sentries we currently see on the map. There we go. There's the cloak going after a probe. There's one probe trying to get another probe. Nope. Unable to get another probe kill so far. Only getting two kills. And now finally backing off this one observer just doing such a great job. A factory now starting to do a bit of scouting. Making making sure that there are no proxy proxy um excuse me are no proxy uh, pylons anywhere on the map as that banshee looks to come back in but the stalkers are still in position you can see that there's an observer and stalkers in position over here as well and this um, banshee harassment is has pretty much already been neutralized currently we have four banshees in the air 26 marines and one raven the banshee is holding its own over here by this zonaga tower as now we have an all-in attempt from phoenix so Phoenix pretty much realizing that he cannot do very much of anything. Now this observer going to fly around. He's eventually going to fly and see this command center hasn't been placed down. And know that something is awry. There's the scanner sweep revealing, I believe, a one observer of mortals. And now the SCVs are going to run up this ramp. There is enough energy for a point defense drone. And there you go. There's the, There are those banshees now coming in. Where is that point defense drone? The point defense drone is now finally up and play. The Marines unable to engage a lot of force fields with the Banshee still doing a, a fair amount of damage. The Marines trying to fight back. The Raven gets taken down as the Marines are finally, no, unable to slip by. So the Banshees are still inside the space completely trying to all in attempt here. The probes are not being pulled as the Marines are continuing this engagement. There is still a point defense drone. It is now going to blink away. Both sides still fighting. More Marines still being added to this group still as the Banshees are now finishing off the rest of the Stalkers here, and the Probes are getting killed. The Probes have not engaged just quite yet, as the what the Banshees continuing this push and this all-in attempt, just completely catching the blue Protoss player off guard. He, Phoenix knew that he needed to do something drastic, and with this all-in attempt, may have, been, may have been able to just completely catch him out of position, out and just completely out man the probes are still not engaging for some strange reason as the stalkers trying to run away trying to perhaps wait for the energy to to run out on those banshees as there are still a fair amount of marines marines still continuing this push here trying to fight back a fresh cloaked banshee now coming in so two banshees one of them decloaked as it does run out of energy and the marines are continuing this pressure still point defense drone intercepting a lot of the damage again as they finally fight back over here marines trying to fight back even further as now this one point defense drone looks like it will get taken down but the reinforcements are still walking to their death marines now put looking to push into the main base and it looks like phoenix is going to take the win harvester count is now zero harvesters compared to 18 as the Marines look to take down this Nexus. The Marines, even without Stim, able to deal a lot of damage and now going after those Banshees or going after those Stalkers. The Stalkers are peeling away, 
trying to make sure that they maintain that distance but the banshee is simply just too much no cloak there's the mule saying get out of here and the banshee does get taken down but the marines are still too much to handle as those stalkers are now slowly peeling back even further making sure to only take damage on those shields a new banshee now making its way inside the space one zealot apparently um apparently doesn't like this assimilator over here will take it down as the marines are now finally backing off the scv harvester count uh, 20 harvesters 21 harvesters and two mules compared to only zero units as the stalkers look to come across the far side of the map phoenix already has enough defense here to deal with those stalkers and as soon as as soon as these stalkers walk up that ramp, he's going to realize that his army is too small, not going to be able to do anything at all. There you go. The Banshees are going to try to engage. There's the blink away. The stalkers realizing that they cannot attack the main base whatsoever. And we still have Marines attempting to take down this Nexus off over here. No additional mining possible at this stage no more probes only two observers and three stalkers as the marines are looking to and um, perhaps push into the middle of the field the mules could do some auto repairing here as the mules are just leading the way perhaps absorbing some damage and now the stalkers finally all getting taken down and there is the gg so gg coming in from the blue protoss after phoenix does a one base all in after and, and going for a double starport this strategy a little bit cheesy a little bit unorthodox but it was a really important mind game i don't want to hear that Terran is op'd in this particular matchup or in this if from the commentary or from this game phoenix really played a mind game really bait and switched the Protoss player, it looked like he was going for a fast expansion, but instead got double gas. He even set up the bunker trying to take territory here where he didn't really need it in order to feign that fast expansion even more. And by the time the SCVs or by the time the blue Protoss player found out that there was not a fast expansion, there was already five, six Banshees inside his base with Marines and SCVs. The force fields put me a little bit on edge for Phoenix as Phoenix really needed to deal a lot of damage. And when he didn't deal that damage, I thought it was going to be really, really difficult. But Phoenix still left a couple SCVs inside his main base. He was still able to double train up Marines and Banshees. And the continual flow of reinforcements and the fact that the Protoss player didn't pull his probes in that first engagement really hurt him in the end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game four in this series. Let's see what Phoenix can do in game five.